Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City. So we back with a brand new sneaker review today. We are going to be taking a look at the Air Jordan 13 captain gowns. Now, they have the same concept going on here as they did with the Jordan 11s. They got the suede, they got the patent leather. I feel like they did a nice smooth transition from the 11s over to the 13. Basically got the same concept going. I got all the specs and all the details coming up. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so here we have the Jordan 13 cap and gowns. The official colorway is just going to be black slash black. Retail, they hiked it up a little bit. It's coming in at $200. I think it's just because they decided to go with the whole cap and gown theme. And I guess there's some luxurious aspect to the sneaker with the patent leather. So that's why they boosted it up. So it is going to come in at $200. So let's just go ahead and dive into the details here. You guys can see this is basically just an all black sneaker, but we have different materials going on here. Kind of reminds me of the Black Cat Jordan 13s, but obviously instead of that mesh up top right here, they, they decided to switch it up and put some patent leather here. So you guys can see we have an all black patent leather right here on the side panel where we typically have our mesh at, but we have patent leather. I'm really interested to know what you guys are feeling about this patent leather up here at, at the top. They swapped it out for the mesh. This is really something different, you know. Um, I guess, you know, it's like, it's suiting for the, the cap and gown theme. You know, if you guys wanna wear this to prom or you guys wanna wear this to the club and dress up or something like that, you guys can do that. So let me know, drop those comments and tell me what you guys are feeling about this patent leather right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side because, you know, down here on the midsole, I kind of feel like they switched up the materials. You have to look closely to, to recognize this. So right here, I feel like this is a suede, you know, this is a little bit more rough. It's a little bit more rugged, you know, so we do have suede right there and that carries all the way to the back right here. That is going to come in our suede. But if you guys look right here on the toe, you know, this is really smooth when you guys actually feel that. And if you actually look at it in hand, you will be able to tell the difference in material. This is going to be a new buck. It's very interesting how they switched it up like that, you know, so this is really soft nice to the touch i like it it doesn't change colors when you rub it and then let's go ahead and take a look at the tongue right here you guys will be able to see you know that comes in i feel like you know a suede so they kind of go back and forth you know but this is really nice and soft to the touch we have those rope laces that are signature to the cap and gown jordan 11s that came in those we have the same thing going on here and then you guys can take a look at this tongue right here we do have an all black jump man right there let's go ahead and take a look at the flip side here you guys will be able to see we do have more of that patent leather right here on the side panel and then down here we have more of that that suede that comes along so i feel like the the uh the new buck is really only on the toe right here. We have suede that comes in our black there as well. And that, like I said, just wraps all the way to the very back of the sneaker there. You know, another difference on this, typically we have our hologram right here. This time they decided to swap that out. We don't have a hologram. We just have an all matte, you know, kind of look. It's like a little finish to it, but we still have our two, three and our jump man inside of there as well, as you guys can see. So let's just go ahead and dive into the bottom of the sneaker. You know, we do have, you know, it's not an icy blue, but it is that same blue that came on the cap and gown Jordan 11s. I personally like this color blue. You know, I like the tint. I like the vibes that it gives off. So we do have that that runs along the bottom right there. Have our all black traction pads. We have our black on black carbon fiber plate there as well. And then we do have our jump man on the bottom as well. So that's basically it. This is an all black sneaker, but they decided to switch it up with the patent leather, the new bug, the suede and all that good stuff. So drop those comments down below. Let us know what you guys are feeling about these cap and gown Jordan 13s. Also, make sure you guys head over to chic.com for more information on how you guys can purchase these sneakers. So that basically wraps things up here. Make sure you guys drop those comments down below. Let us know what you guys are feeling about the cap and gown Jordan 13s. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell. Turn on those notifications so you guys can get an email alert every single time we upload brand new sneaker content. Also, I got to let everybody know about a subscription service that we offer. You guys can head over to Sheik.com to check that out. We have three separate packages. Each one is going to offer you guys a free pair of shoes. All right. So make sure you guys check that out. We got some dope stuff on there. It just depends on which package you guys sign up for. That's going to determine the free sneaker you guys are eligible to get. So check it out. We got some dope stuff on there. And also, before we go, you know we must leave in fashion. I'm going to be hitting you with a 360 look of these sneakers. But until next time, I'm CJ City. I'm signing out. We appreciate all the love. Peace.